Today we are looking at five different things to avoid in crochet. And why you would avoid these is very simple, that you would enjoy crocheting more. The first thing is choosing a project that is too difficult for you, for the level where you are at in crochet right now. I'm not saying that you shouldn't always learn more, yes, but if you're going for something that is way beyond what you have been doing before, it's easy that it would be so hard that it really puts you off crocheting. So that would be the reason. There are many patterns that don't actually tell you anything about the level, but you can look at the construction, the stitches, and how long the project is and all those things to find ones that are suitable for you at this moment. And another thing is also the yarn that you select because some yarns are easy to work with and others are not. Especially if you're using something like mohair that really sticks and it's almost impossible to frog to undo anything. You would need to be fairly certain that you can get it right the first time. And also many novelty yarns can be hard to work with. You will enjoy crochet more if you sort of go up little by little, like in stages, from easier to more difficult projects. Another thing that can reduce your enjoyment of crochet is sitting for long periods of time in a bad position. I know I'm often guilty of that, but I'm trying my best to remember to get up very often and sit in a position that doesn't hurt my back or any, anywhere else. Fortunately, maybe I can't concentrate on anything for long periods of time, so I would normally get up about maybe every 15 minutes or so to get something, or just to stand up. Have you tried crocheting standing up for short periods of time? It's not any more difficult and it can help you feel better over time. If you're wondering where I'm filming today, there are two old historical small ironworks communities here in southern Finland. I love these villages and I come here often because one of my daughters lives here. Another thing that I'm very guilty of myself as well is hoarding far too much yarn. I'm not saying that you shouldn't have any yarn, but uh, it would be good to limit it. One reason, of course, is that the more you buy, the more money you spend. And it's easy to buy things that you don't necessarily even need. I'm slowly learning to find the balance. There's nothing wrong in enjoying beautiful yarn. And for instance, in the backdrop that I have in my home, I have this here yarn that I like so much. It's spun from leftover silk and it has such beautiful colors. So it's worth sometimes getting something that you really enjoy. A short time ago, I had a poll on my community tab asking how many people are buying yarn without knowing what it is for. And 90% of people said they would do that, either often or occasionally. How much yarn you keep depends a lot also on what you are making. For instance, this here type of yarn, cotton, I keep a lot of it in all different colors because I make small things, design small things that I need to have lots of colors. And I don't consider that hoarding because I really need it. Another thing to avoid so that you would enjoy crochet as much as possible is starting a project way too late. If it's something that doesn't matter when it's finished, then that's okay. But there are lots of things that you want finished at a certain time. Say you're making a shawl for a wedding or you're making Christmas presents. Uh, a tip about that later. This is also something that I have been guilty of right through my life. I remember being a teenager and sewing buttons on something I had made on the way to wherever I was going because I absolutely wanted to wear something new and I hadn't had time to finish it. So it's worth learning what speed you can finish projects and then start them accordingly. But there's something that I have actually started doing, <laughs> which is a bit funny, I suppose, many Christmases in the last number of years. Every year there is somebody who gets a present like this here.
In other words, I didn't have time to finish, but if, if it's for people that you know very well, I think it's perfectly okay to give a gift that isn't finished. <laughs> and I always have finished those within a few days normally. Or you can take it one step further, just give the yarn and explain what you are going to make. And the last thing to avoid is being all tense, either in your shoulders, in your hands, so to relax as much as possible. Some advice that you get at a young age can really stay with you. When I was 12 or 13, I started knitting color work mittens and socks. And there was one advice in this here book that I still have somewhere, don't remember where. And that advice was that while you are knitting, and the same goes for crochet, you are likely to little by little lift your shoulders up. So to remember to drop them down very often, as often as you can. And I still try to do that all the time. And another thing is to be relaxed at your hands, both hands, so that you don't squeeze the hook while you crochet and that you don't hold the yarn in any way that any finger or part of your hand needs to be tense, but that you are always very relaxed when you crochet. I have also heard people say that breastfeeding pillows can help maintain a comfortable position for crochet. I haven't tried that myself. Would there be one of these here things to avoid that you find that you would especially need to start avoiding now? Tell me in the comments. Till next time.